There is a big river in Zimbabwe called Zambezi and it's linking Zambia, Botswana, down to South Africa. It is a very big river and um, a resemblance to uh, a very good nation, Zimbabwe, so because we're a good group, group, so we call ourselves Zambezi. Once a week in a small theatre in Sittingbourne, a group of famous Zimbabwean musicians meet to rehearse. I come from a group called uh, Black Spear, which was formed late 1987 in Zimbabwe. When I finally resigned from Black Spear, I stopped in England. I got some colleagues that were part of Black Spear as well, former Black Spear guys and some former Black Moon followers, eh? and we thought maybe we could yeah, do something together. A friend of mine by the name of Lucky, he came to do a workshop in uh, Gillingham and he loved, loved the place. And, you know, he said to me, we can visit Gillingham and, you know, see what it's like. Probably in the near future we might move in and, you know, because it's so relaxed, nice and calm. That's how I happened to move to Gillingham. I didn't like Gillingham, I moved to Sittingbourne. But the move to Kent was not easy and it took some time for the Zimbabweans to be accepted. Living in Sittingbourne now, I, I, I find it more relaxed and more nice. People are beginning to appreciate me, or shall I say, people like that come from other countries. Because when I first moved in, it was a bit difficult, but uh, you know, we had to stay on, and now everything is lovely. I, I love sitting there now. My family, I've got two brothers, two sisters, and I've got two kids, uh, which are grown up now, which is another thing which makes me homesick every time I call but sometimes because of uh, something you can't control. You, you sometimes don't have any option about that, but uh, it can force you into doing that. And the main reason why I moved to, uh, maybe to Kent is maybe because of Lucky um, who introduced me to uh, an organization called Music for Change. And I started doing some workshops, and a lot of the workshops were around this area. Well, I used to be a, a musician, just like really performing in big stages, like at places like the Royal Festival Hall or Ronnie Scott's or Liverpool Philharmonic. Um, but then I suddenly was doing workshops and education work, and I would get people really getting interested more in the, like if it's a song, the cultural context or social context, then I think my passion for doing education work really developed. When Lucky studied arts management at Cambridge, he discovered a different way to use his band's musical talent, teaching and promoting African culture in Kent. It, it actually works to their benefit when they have somebody, say, from Southern Africa like me, coming in in person and talking to them and telling them, all about Southern Africa. So there's quite a lot of like what I would call academic and social, uh, I think, benefits in it. And also at times they see images that are only to do with hunger and poverty or disasters. So to just have them doing just music and really having a good time is also, I think, positive. After three years in Sittingbourne, the Zambezi Arts are now a recognized asset to the county offering more and more people of Kent a taste of Africa.